and welcome to a new Let's Play. Um, this is one I actually had not planned to do, but I figured if I was going to do the second one, I might as well do the first one. Um, some other people, of course, have done the first one, and if you're reading what's on the screen, you know. For people that don't know, it's going to be a surprise. Um, some other people have done the, the first game in the series I will be playing. Um, Late Light has done the, um, the EGA version, and a few other people have done the VGA version. I am going to do the VGA version as well, as you can see by the QG1 new. So, like uh, most Sierra games, we're going to type in Sierra. No, we're not going to type in Sierra. I always forget that with this game. Yes, we're off to a roaring start. You actually type in... Yes, I actually have the uh, the anthology, which is what we're playing off of. Um, yeah, I, I had bought this anthology long ago when they still sold these games in stores. <laughs> I'm so old. Uh, okay. This is our little, uh, there's not really any copy protection in the VGA game, and um, a lot of the, the VGA games. Um, some there are, like King's Quest V, which when I get caught up, you guys will see the lovely copy protection. Um, if it has it. Um, I don't remember if it has it, but never mind. Uh, so it's just telling us that, you know, the software you are now using was produced through the effort of many hardworking people. In other words, Please don't pirate. It, that's what it's saying. It's saying, please, please don't pirate. Sadly, unless you get this off of eBay and Amazon, you kind of have to. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys where to download the game. Um, use Google. I'm, I'm sure you all are efficiently intelligent enough to do that. I would, though, if you can get your hands on it, pick up the anthology. It's got all four of the games. Um, it's got both the uh, the talk for the, you know, the talking version and the non-talking version of um, four. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a good package, and you get some uh, you, you know you get a good handbook. Um, it's also worth sometimes picking up some of these games individually because some of the um, the soft the uh, Oh, there's a word for it, and I forgot it. But the, the feelies, the feelies that you get in them, like the actual copies of the Adventure's Guide, um, might turn on the uh, the camera uh, one bit and actually show all the uh, the feelies I have for different Sierra games. But this is probably boring you guys to tears, so... As it says, we might need... We don't need any of it. We're going to ignore that. It's It always screws up for some reason in there. Don't know why, but it 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 dis it dislikes me. Sorry about that. The uh, my mouse dis batteries decided they were going to die a slow and painful death. But we're back. Let's watch the introduction. This really isn't that interesting, but I, I, I really think the uh, the best opening really is the second Quest for Glory game. Glory and Cole, she she was awesome. She and her husband actually gave uh, lots of kudos to the uh, makers of the uh, Quest for Glory 2 remake. Whether or not they like this VGA version better than the origi original EGA version, I'm I'm not sure. Cause while the um, EGA is much brighter, um, late flight comments on that about uh, I have a preference for the VGA simply because this is the first version of this I played. I played the second one first, and then this one, as, when it came back out. As a, so we're going to be a fighter. 
Here we are. And we are going to be named Kiji. And I'm going to give myself a point in magic. Picking locks, stealth. You you can't do that, um that that plus one. You know, that minus plus trick you could in the uh yeah, it just it just just doesn't work. I've uh, I've tried it before. There is no licking toads or razzle dazzle root beer in this. So let's give us another one. Now I want to uh, look at that to me there. Um, actually, I actually have no idea why I always pick pick locks. Um, I really don't need pick locks. We'll put that there. I I don't like playing as a um a thief character. Let's see if I can get that music smoothed out just a little bit. That's a bit better. Yeah, what you have to have DOSBox set up to when you're recording and what you have to have it set up to when you're doing something else are completely different animals. This town seems like a quiet town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is rather, is large, ooh, I can read, is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. No shit, Sherlock. This is the sheriff's house. The man with the pipe greets you. I'm not going to try doing a voice for this. We've seen how my voices go. Welcome to our town. You're lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snows block the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town. I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, we could certainly use a hero around here. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yeah, nobody actually says, we could sure use a hero around here. They more go, I wish we didn't have all this shit. I'm Sheriff... He's the sheriff, and this is my assistant, Otto Von Goon, who is a goon, my assistant. Good luck on your quest, which I somehow know about. Um, unlike the other Quest for Glory VGA games, if I click on myself, mumble, mumble, overwork, mumble, underpaid, mumble, mumble, no control over my life. Yes. You have no control over your life. Well, uh, let's, let's talk to the sheriff. So we can see, like a lot of the other VGAs, it's it's broken down into different things you can ask about. Um, I know this is exactly why some people do not like this game over the um, the EGA version. They like being able to talk talk about stuff, being able to tell about stuff. But you know, th this I think this is a much easier introduction to the series for uh, some people than I was young, but I played the second one. Um, the second one we're going to be playing with. We're going to be playing the remake, so I'll explain that when we actually get to that. Let's ask about the mountain. You should know you came down from there. He doesn't think we're very smart, but we only have ten intelligence. We aren't. Watching my time. Town. This town was named after the barons of Spielberg. It used to be a lively place. It used to be a lively place to be. That doesn't sound right. Before the brigands came and drove all the business away. You can find a place to stay at the inn next door. You can learn about jobs available at the guild hall down the street. If you're interested in magic, you should visit the magic shop. There's still plenty to do here and see in Spielberg. In other words, he's telling us these are the places you need to go, idiot. So I think I have time for just a few more things. Let's about the Baron. Baron Stefan keeps mostly to himself at his castle north of here. We haven't seen him here in town for years. And there's a good reason for that magic. Just next to the inn is a small magic shop. It's got a creepy eye. The owner, Zara, will let you in if you have some abilities in that area. She's a strange one, all right. I've actually gotten in there with no magic abilities whatsoever, so he lies. Uh, the inn. Go talk to the innkeeper. He will help you there. And that's pretty much all we have time for today. Uh, so let's save our game. As... Let's see, what should we save it as? A 
let's see, walked in the front gate. As you notice, we do have two points just for starting the game. So, see you all next time.